Here's a good GRE question. A group of scientists observes 126 flowers. Every flower is either tall or short, and every flower is either red or blue. The scientists randomly select one tall and one short flower. So here's my table here. It's represented right there. I want to know what's greater, the probability that the tall flower selected will be blue or the probability that the short flower selected will be red. A lot of people look at this and say, okay, well, I want a tall blue flower, four of those, and a short red flower, there are 25 of those, clearly quantity B is going to be greater, right? Because 25 is greater than four, but not so fast. What these quantities are saying, what the question is asking is, if I pick a tall flower, what's the probability that that tall flower is going to be blue? Well, how many tall flowers are there overall? There's four plus one, so five overall, right? And there's the probability that I'm going to pick a blue one is going to be four out of five because there are four of them. So 0 0.8, right? The probability that the tall flower selected will be blue is going to be 0 0.8. Well, if I go to this column now, I have 121 flowers and 25 of them are red. So what's the probability that I'm going to pick a red flower? Well, it's 25 out of 121, which is, I don't know, a little less than 25% uh, or way less than 25%. So clearly, quantity A is going to be greater here. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my live online course, follow the link on my profile.